So, you are ready to start your Abacus journey? But before we dive into the simulations, let's get you a copy of Abacus so that you can get it set up and running. I'll guide you step by step through how to download, install and activate Abacus, whether you're a student, an engineer or a researcher. By the end of this video, you'll have Abacus up and running, ready for your first analysis. If you're interested in this video, let's see back and relax as we get started with this video. So if we want to get hold of Abacus, the first thing you need to do is to go to Google and I'd like you just to type in Abacus. This is a learning version that most users can use, most are allowed to use. So when you go there, it comes up with a few links. So the one you want to go to is one that says Abacus Learning Edition. If we click on that, it takes you to this environment and clearly what you want is to get the software. So if you click on get the software, it comes up with this option. So if you are an academic institution and you want to get to the software, then you do need to contact the backers directly. They've got a lot of offerings that are very good for academics you know in terms of working in this in this field the makers of abacus are the simulia you know 3d simulia if your companies you also have options of how you can get hold of the version this software is a little bit um, expensive however since this master class is targeting at people who are beginning their journey in abacus and they want to learn a bit more how to get started so i will focus this video on students I have the option here for students and all you need to do is to go all the way and do look at the option that's the Abacus Learning Edition. So when you get there, you get to this environment and you could easily download a free version of Abacus. It allows you only for a thousand nodes. So that means beyond a thousand nodes of discretization, you can't really use the student version. So click on download. It takes you to this environment. If you're doing this for the very first time, you need to create an account. You need a 3DS account to create this. So you enter some of the basic details, your email address. In this instance, your email that goes in here will have to be your school, your academic institution email address, whatever that is. So you need to sort of input it in here and then you now go through the process of downloading. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log into my account right away. So when you log into your account, this is the very first thing you will see. It's an environment that's got a lot of information you know of what you can so you can read around that but where i really want you to go to is to go down here so we are looking at the abacus 2025 student edition if you click on that link it takes you to the environment where you could potentially begin to download the software so what we want is a free download so and these are options that are free for students you know with with sort of my login that is available for me to download and you could see here it tells you the university where this account is associated with um, so this is the software software that is available to us as a university. Some universities may not have access to this. You may have a bit more depending on the university or software associated with. But what we want is a similar Abacus. So if I click on that, currently it's giving me access to Abacus 2025 and 2024. So I would normally go with the most recent version and it gives me more information. Currently it says what I have is a Windows 64. So only a Windows operating system would work in this instance. So it also says that it's a Windows 64 operating system. So if you don't have a Windows 64, let's say you have a Mac operating system, unfortunately this license wouldn't work for you. Um, so I'm not sure what people do if they have a Mac operating system in terms of doing that. So once you select all that, say show details, and then you can click here to download. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, so it comes up here, it's a zip file. What you need to do with the zip file is to extract all. So it's okay to extract right into the environment where the software is. Okay, so now that you finish unzipping the file, so we can then open the folders. And what you will see here is a few set of files. So the installation guide gives you more ideas about how to install it. But we really want to run the setup. So double click on the setup. And so if you look at what's going on with the setup, so we've got the setup environment here. And it says, okay, Sumilia, so you could allow the file to be stored in this environment. This default is okay. And and then the first thing it wants to do is that it requires you to, uh, for Abacus to run, it needs a Java code for it to run. So it, it comes up and it's looking for this Java and it said it can't find it. So this is something you have to really do. So we can click on any of this. So if we click on that link, it takes you to an environment where you can download the Java. So we're going to look for the one that is probably suitable for Windows. So we, we can let's look at the second one the installer option 
okay so you can guide you through what you're trying to do so we'll just click next 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 and then this way you get java installed on the pc in readiness for running your simulation so i'll just go back and then go forward again so hopefully now it, it, it will pick it up so it's picked up the environment where the java is then we can go forward yeah so this is where it will be like the default working directory and i'll leave it as it time because most users will normally use that if you don't want you can create another folder which is where you are going to store most of your abacus and um, simulation but i like to leave it as it time because this is common for most users and then once you've done that we're going to go ahead and store okay so once you finish installing it it comes up with this information that tells you the product education is complete and you can find the results here so the abacus 2025 learning edition is what we have and this is sort of where it's installed okay so now that is done the execution and you come to everything and then you can now close so what i will do is it depends on the window that you have so i will go here and click on that place and then look for where the installation is so you can see that i've got a few installation of abacus but the one so the one we we're looking for here is this new installation so when you open that it will tell you different so you've got different things that you can use so the abacus ca environment and the documentation files so i'll click on the ca which is sort of how you're going to call the software in so when you start launching abacus first thing you're going to see would be this sort of window uh, and, and what it's doing basically in the background is that it's trying to search through, trying to load up all the executables, trying to get it ready for you. And this window needs to continuously be open all the time when you're running Abacus. The very first thing you'll see when Abacus has finished loaded is this environment. And if you look at the very top end, it does tell you this Abacus 25. If you look here, you see that Abacus Learning Edition 2025. And this is basically the CAE environment. And we can go ahead and look at starting the session so in the next video i will go into details of how you can start up the session and what else you need to do the other thing that I, I wanted you to not be aware of just as we end this video is the documentation folder so we're, we're going to speak about this later on so if you click on the documentation folder so it will end up in an environment where you've got all the details about how abacus is set up and how it will run so this is a documentation folder and basically here it tells you the structuring of the abacus help files and a lot of information you could extract here so in your own time please do have a look at this as you begin to get started with abacus so in our next video we're going to focus on getting started with abacus CAE. what is the abacus CAE environment how do you set it up but for now having gone through this you've installed abacus you've started it and you can see that it's running now the next thing is to begin to explore the interface and the workflow so Watch out for the next video in this masterclass. I will explore that. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe so when contents like this are made, you'll be the first to see. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye bye.